Hello guys, welcome, Saturday, March 7th, honey go out and dance, or whatever you feel like to, let's get started, oh what a nice 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 music, okay guys, so let's see what will happen during the Saturday March 7th. I hope that you are in a good mood. Good morning, rise and shine, my dear friends. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for being my subscriber. Thank you so very much. So now let's get started. Let's see the most important message. Oh, sadness and isolation. Oh, honey, honey, don't isolate yourself more than basically you need. Okay, now watch this tarot card. This is sadness and isolation. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares for me. I have no friends. I have no money. I have no job. And then all of a sudden, bang. You see, guys, what is this? This aureola, this is your spirit, sign of your spirit. Honey, everything depends on you. If you spend, and most likely many of you do spend a lot of time being single, crying because of your weird or bad destiny, honey, everything depends on you. Now you will see everything will change in a heart beat if you allow yourself to be happy or simply to change your destiny. Now, this goes for, not only for love, but goes also for your career. Obviously, you need to stretch yourself at least a bit. And you need to open up to the world and to the new possibilities, guys. Believe me. So, maybe you need a completely new circle of friends. Okay. So, let me see what will happen. So, there you go. Major Arcana, the fool. What it means? You are not a fool, honey. We all feel down. I know for myself, guys, you know, I experienced a real bad period throughout the whole month of February, guys, you know, and I was not in a mood for dancing or for singing or guys, you know, whatever, because I have had like a big, you know, health, health you know, issues. But guys, Major Arcana the Fool is simply reminding you there is a new dawn, there is a new people, new environment, new destiny. Obviously, you are, you are, you are healing, you are changing, you are shifting, and you will be in much more better shape than recently. You see, guys, basically this tarot card holds two messages. You can see sadness, isolation, health issues, and then all of a sudden. You will realize or simply you will find a cure or someone just might call you and major kind of the fool is saying, honey, everything depends on you. So you can see how this person is really dancing, guys. You can see this is a person who is dancing. So major kind of the fool is saying, be brave, go out and do something completely, completely, completely new. Maybe you will meet all of a sudden someone who will light you up somebody can light you up six of wands so there you go guys you can see all of a sudden this energy is completely changing six of wands is tarot card of victory in some other decks tarot decks it's written victory so obviously this is you gaining something meeting someone could be phone call out of the blue um, you see and this is you changing your attitude from bad from negative all of a sudden to extremely positive so can you see can you see this woman she looks like a queen so somebody will treat you as a queen somebody can cons consider you to be you know you are my queen how many times your boyfriend or your husband said to you you are my queen queen you are my queen tell me put your comment on the channel did you ever heard to be called like that you are my queen 
or maybe you said to your partner, you are my king. You see guys, so someone appreciates you a lot. So something will happen guys, you know. This is place of, um, this is like a restaurant, disco club, rock concert, any kind of, you know, place where you can show your personality. So basically your personality is changing from sadness, from isolation, from saying, ah, what do I care for, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you know, phone call is coming, you are going out on a date and then everything will change. You know, how many times um, you felt that, you know, that your, your attitude and basically almost your personality can change from zero to 100, whatever. Guys, you see what I mean? Okay, so something beautiful will happen and maybe somebody will say that to you. You look like a queen, you know, your attitude, you know, or maybe, <coughs> excuse me, somebody will compare you with a queen of Sheba or, you know, whatever, any kind of, you know, queen. So, honey, maybe you look like a Nefertiti, you know, queen from old, ancient, you know, Egypt, you know, because this woman, she really looks like a queen, so must be something in your attitude. And please pay attention. It's very hard to approach to you because most likely you are very beautiful. Major Arcana strength, you see, it's very hard for you sometimes to allow people to approach to you. This is not about fear. This is something completely else. You are probably very strong personality. When when a man looks at the woman, you know, he need like five seconds to put you in uh, in I don't know in in his mind. You know who basically you are. As a woman, uh, sometimes maybe even you look uh, you know intimidated, intimidating. You know. So someone is afraid of your strength, someone is afraid of your beauty, someone is even afraid of your opinion. Okay, guys, but this is not bad. Simply, you are very strong, whether you are man or woman. You are obviously very handsome, beautiful, yourself. You have no problem with your self-esteem. So I need to emphasize something. Um, this person is Ersli Sage, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra or Aquarius, guys, you know. This person who think of you or this person who want to be with you or maybe you can expect some news. So you can see somebody will put you on a pedestal saying you are my queen. You don't need to work, you don't need to do anything at all, you know. I will pay for everything, you know. But most likely you don't need that, most likely you don't want that, most likely you didn't ask for any of this. But, you know, this person simply want to put you on a pedestal, saying at the very same time, you are my queen. Wow, 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 wow. Weird story, but I can bet it's going to be resonated at least with some of you. So, let me now reshuffle my deck and let me pull the very final tarot card for this Saturday. Let me see. This person, I think, is in love with you, even admiring you from afar. Yes, 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 yes. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. You can see, guys, you know, someone is praying for you. Someone is praying for you. You can see a person, you can see a man. This is, this is, this is a knight sitting, uh, I mean lying, almost like in a church, this is a church, and praying, you know, hopefully he, she will enter into my coffee shop, uh, or whatever, any kind of place, and, you know, hopefully she will look at me, so honey, look at him, because this guy is praying to become your king, so queen, and king obviously you belong together if you already attached if you already attached still this guy is hoping to get a phone call from you you see a couple of days ago he asked you something um do you want do you care for i don't know for whatever and this will happen on this saturday mm, 
some invitation or some conversation, meeting, you know, dating or whatever. Okay, guys, so this sadness, it's not about you at all because you love yourself if you're a woman. This guy, this man, he is in isolation, in sadness because he is sad because of you. He thinks that he is not adequate, adequate for you. This is, guys, the story for Saturday. Believe it or not. So this also could be um, this also could be older woman and younger man type of connection. But this guy, he desire you. He desire you. So this is not your sadness. This is his sadness. Simply, he want to become your king. Oh my! What a story. Okay, guys. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe on my channel. God bless and have